Hey everybody, I am back with another brief video. Today I wanted to talk about the Atkins diet, my opinion on it, and my own personal experience with it. So, um, so yeah, let's get started. This is going to be a pretty short video because I don't have just a ton to say about it. So, with the Atkins diet, obviously most of us know it is a low carb diet, which there are a lot of low carb diets out there right now. And I will just say at the beginning of my video, before you want to start watching it, um, I'm not a super fan of low carb diets, especially in the long term. I think short term they can be beneficial for short periods of time for some people, for certain people, but I don't ultimately recommend low carb diets in general. I think it's important to be mindful of your carbohydrate intake and make sure that you are consuming the right kind of carbohydrates because I think a lot of people kind of misunderstand, you know, the, the truth about carbohydrates. So there are so many, I mean, I just feel like most people need carbohydrates. Um, I mean, they are energy essentially. And so, so yeah, that's just kind of my, my ultimate take overall is I'm not really a fan of low carb diets in the long term. Now, I've said this before with some of my other videos on these low carb diets, but I feel like if it, you know, you're trying to get ready for something special, an event, or maybe you just want to experiment and try it out. I think it is okay to try one of these low carb type diets briefly, um, but I don't recommend doing it for more than say a few months at a time and ideally even you know shorter than that, maybe several weeks or something. And that's just my personal opinion. Or if you're, you have a ton of weight to lose, like you're very overweight and you've tried so many other different things and you're looking to just try it out and see if you can lose some extra weight doing the low carb, you know, then. I would say go for it. And this is just my personal opinion. I don't have any kind of certifications on these diet matters and nutrition, but I have studied these things for many years. So the thing that I do like about Atkins is I feel that it's a little bit less restrictive than a lot of these other low carb diets. And I feel like, you know, being able to incorporate certain fruits into the diet is important. And you do get some carbs with Atkins, but I still feel like it's not nearly enough, in my opinion. And they have some pretty good products to utilize, like their shakes and certain, you know, meal bars. And then you've got like the um, frozen meals and stuff like that to choose from. And the food is pretty, pretty good. And um, the portions are laid out for you. And, you know, and what's really cool is Atkins has this app now that you can use to help track um, track your diet, and your weight loss, and track all these different factors in relation to um, how you're following through with your diet and whatnot. And it offers a lot of support, so that's really cool. And uh, you know, a lot of diets these days have stuff like that. So being able to have like an online community and online support that really helps. But but yeah, I mean, essentially, Atkins to me. I liken it to being very similar to paleo in my opinion, um, but with Atkins there are different phases and I mentioned like with the Ducan diet that I talked about in a different video, um, there are essentially <coughs> different phases in which you undergo in this diet. So like with Atkins you have like the first phase is like the induction phase where you start your weight loss and then you've got like I can't remember what the next one was and you've got like maintenance uh, which is where you're ultimately leading like this low carb diet like it definitely um, like over time so basically they want you to permanently live a low carb lifestyle now personally I'm not a big fan of this like I said in the beginning of this video and many of my other videos I'm not a big fan of long-term low-carb diets. I don't feel like it's healthy. Another thing that concerns me with these low-carb diets is just quite simply that you're getting so much protein in your diet. And like, yes, that's good. You need protein in your diet. But at the same point, if you're not getting enough variety in your diet and you're consuming too much protein, especially in the form of meat, and you're consuming more fats, things like uh, cheeses, heavier, it's just a heavier diet. Like you're consuming more meat, cheese, and things that, you know, you shouldn't be consuming just a ton of, in my opinion. And I feel like that can really ultimately in the long term be harmful because then you're dealing with, you're dealing with like too much 
much protein and too much fat in your system, which can lead to pressure on your organs, stress on your organs, especially your kidneys, your liver, your gallbladder, and really overtaxing all of these bodily, bodily systems. So, and that's one thing I really want to point out. I feel like, you know, getting too much fat in your diet, even if it's healthy, uh, too much fat, too much protein, you know, and if you are going to do the low carb diet, you know, you just want to look at obviously what kind of, what kind of proteins and what kind of fats that you're using because, you know, obviously you can go and eat, you know, double meat cheeseburgers and be like, oh yeah, I'm following my diet, you know, and it's actually really bad for you. So you can just take the butt off and be like, oh yeah, I'm following my diet. So you can do that. Um, or you can, you know, be healthier and choose to maybe have like some walnuts and then have like some yogurt that's unflavored, unsweetened, you know, as a snack. And you can have some fish, like some fish and vegetables for dinner, or you could choose a, you know, a big steak with, uh, <laughs> with, you know, some really extra buttered up, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example, like some buttered up vegetables, you know, just like drowned in fat. So, you know, obviously, you know, things like bacon, bacon grease, um, you get my point. It's just not the healthiest thing if you're eating like that. So if you're going to attempt any of these low carb diets and you think, oh, I can just eat whatever I want, just try to really be mindful of what it is you are actually in fact consuming. So, and I would recommend honestly going more plant-based with something like that and eating more things like tofu, nuts, peanut butter, um, peanut butter without the sugar, obviously. So like natural almond butter, things like that to help you get your protein sources. So, and uh, things like eggs, you know, if you're getting too much of these things, it's just, it's actually really hard on your heart and your, your blood. And over time that can lead to things like high blood pressure, things like uh, heart disease. So bearing all this in mind, but there are a lot of benefits that people have experienced from low carb diets. Some people say that they feel more mental clarity and I think that can come from a lot of different sources quite honestly, but I'm not completely downing the Atkins diet just because I personally don't agree with it, but I feel like if you're going to choose a low carb diet, I will say I think that Atkins would be my number one choice of a low carb diet because it's less restrictive. So, I don't know. I guess I would kind of tie it off with paleo. I feel like paleo as well is kind of, um, it's low carb, but it's less restrictive. So, you just want to think in terms of if you're going to go low carb, just think about being as least restrictive as you can and still incorporate, you know, some kind of carbohydrates into your diet because it's just, yeah. Um, when I tried Atkins, that's for my own personal experience. I didn't do very well with it just because I personally am a person that requires a higher carb diet. My body does not function properly by any means if I do not have the carbohydrates that I need. So I don't overdo it. I only take what I need and that's the same with any food that I'm eating. I eat to live, I don't live to eat. I eat when I'm hungry, I stop when I'm satisfied. I eat a snack when I need it. So really that's all there is to it. I feel like it can be beneficial for certain people um, to do the Atkins diet short term. And that's all I'm really gonna say about it. So again, just my opinion, just my take on it. I'm not against people that wanna do these low carb diets. I feel like if that's what they wanna do, go for it. Same with anything. You know, you're your own individual, your own person. And whatever works for you, works for you. And if you feel like you can't do it for very long, that's okay. If you feel like you can do it for a while, that's okay. But, you know, you just have to think in the long term all these different factors that play into your overall health. So with that being said, I'll end this video 